Now I just got this remote in. This is a remote. It's, I'm not sure what it's for. Um, it's swine robotics. It's used on a pig farm. And there's a little green LED up here. Which, and you'll notice if you press the button one way it blinks. And the other way the switch is not. Some switches are working, some are not. Well, I'm going to have to take it apart. It looks like there's just six screws there in the seam. But before that, always disinfect the product that you're working on. <laughs> Since this is working with uh, swine or pigs, you're going to have... This, I don't... I won't assume that this is mud. This is probably pig poop and whatever else. I'm going to take it apart, and you'll see the board next. Next, you have two screws here to take off. Now, notice I got this switch taken apart, and there's a couple of switches and bad on here. This one, that one, that one, that one. And I do not have, currently, these switches on hand, and the local parts store, Radio Shack, does not have them on hand either. So, I'm just going to get the job done. I these switches have epoxy on the on the ends of them, so I just scrape them off and just peel back to one side and here's the insert for your switch. You notice this is kind of tarnished, and I'm just gonna clean this little tarnished piece up. And I have a this is a brass brush. I'm just going to clean that contact up on all these switches and push them down and call it good. Now when you have this board, unless you want to send it in to me, I do fix electronics. I'm, by the time this happens, I will have these switches in hand. So I won't have to do just this kind of a repair. I do not suggest anybody doing this. So, showing you what I'm doing to fix it. Show you exactly what I'm doing. I'm taking and just holding down the contact and then using this against my nail and that, that side to clean it up. Plus, there's a centerpiece inside there. I'm using a you go to Walmart, you can buy yourself a dental pick, you can go in there and you can sc just scrape that, and there's this little side here, and you can clean up as well. So I have all the switches cleaned up, and you can see by the indicator light. And the remote's working back to normal. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.